Breaking news in Syria. President Assad giving a rare interview with a message aimed squarely at America, warning about what could come if there is a military strike led by the U.S. We have a team covering the crisis in Syria tonight, and we begin here with ABC's chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, who's in our Beirut bureau tonight. Terry, good evening. David, here in the Middle East, people are riveted by what they see unfolding on the world stage. A showdown between two men, Barack Obama and Bashar al-Assad. And Obama blinked. At least that's the general opinion here. And so today, Assad stepped forward into the limelight, full of defiance and dire warnings. Looking confident, impeccably attired, President Assad told an interviewer from the French newspaper Le Figaro that President Obama cannot prove his charges that the Syrian regime gassed its own people. We defy the U.S. and France to show us one piece of evidence, he said. Ever since that August 21st gas attack, the pictures of the victims, especially the children, have haunted the world's conscience. Today, the rebels sought to exploit those strong emotions. Kids at a protest holding signs urging a military strike. Save the children of Syria, one said. But in the Damascus interview, President Assad issued a dark warning. The Middle East is a powder keg and the fire is getting closer, he said. No one knows what will happen. Everyone will lose control once the keg blows up. Chaos and extremism will spread. The risk of a regional war exists. Assad and his supporters clearly feel strengthened right now, but they also know that an attack by the U.S. and allies could still come. Today, there is word that young people in Damascus, supporters of Assad, are volunteering to become human shields at the military bases and other facilities that are the likely targets of the cruise missiles. 